Hey everybody, it's actually day two and we're uh, still camped in the mining prospect here. Uh, I watched the video, the footage from yesterday. I realized it might be a little vague. There's some pieces that I kind of left out. Like, why is this a mining prospect? Well, if you're talking about sedimentary rock, limestone, sandstone, you see it all the time. One layer is harder than the other, so it'll wear out first. Well, that's not the case here. That's granite. That. That is solid fucking quartz. Which is going to wear first? Yeah, it's a dead heat. This does not happen naturally. This is why we suspect mining prospect. So after I got done filming yesterday, just kind of hiking around last night, last evening, uh, found some other stuff. Let's go check that out. And oh my god, it was dark and quiet out here. Oh, it was fucking fantastic. Uh, she says there were coyotes. I didn't hear them. Alright, let's go check out this other shit. Oh, well, now that's a new one. We've had this uh, shelter blasted out here. And clearly we've had you know, campfires in here. No chance there's a rattlesnake in here whatsoever, is there? Yeah. And actually, it kind of looks like we we grade into almost a schist right here. It's interesting. But this isn't what I wanted to show you. I'm just hiking around, uh, looking for other stuff, and I found this beautiful little shelter cave. This is awesome. And probably not very old. Like I said, this is a mining prospect. We're doing a lot of blasting in here. So... Yeah, no, no Indian artifacts in here. Probably. All right, well, we do have some other mineral here. This red stuff. Uh, it's really decayed. Really hard to tell what the hell it ever started out as. Red, well, probably an iron mineral. And I don't really see any hope figuring out what that is right now. So far, I'm walking around these other outcrops and not really seeing much in terms of uh, rose quartz or activity. Who knows, maybe they got it all. But there are places they didn't. And that's where I'm headed. Okay, I gotta admit, there's an interesting variety of rocks in a small area here. This is a feldspar nice. So it's biotite with lumps of feldspar all through it. Very cool. Ah, a little bit of biotite there. That's a feldspar. Uh, a little bit of quartz right there. I mean, it's typical stuff for mountains. I'm still headed back towards the, uh, the good stuff. See, now here is a good example of what I'm talking about. Differential weathering. This is the feldspar. This is that same um, feldspar niece that we saw before. Niece, nice, I don't fucking know. But you can see the ground rock is softer. And then the feldspar just sticks out. This doesn't happen when you've got quartz and granite. Something else happened. We're still moving on. Well, there's some first evidence for new veins. That is big, big, solid vein quartz. It's white. Even if it was pink, I'd have to question taking it. Not that valuable. Wow, this is almost purple. I mean, it's just barely colored. Got a purple tint to it. Maybe that's just the sun. I don't know. I mean, it does look like what, right? I don't know. But there might have been a vein that got carved out there. Another one that got carved out there. Not finding a lot of good stuff though. It would be great to find some darker purple. That'd be awesome. Not gonna happen. Now, how the hell do you think the tree does that? It's just like, fuck you, I'm going to grow right here. That is amazing. I don't think I'm going to climb up there. I'm not seeing the cuts for the veins. In fact, it looks like this little bowl I'm in might have just been completely blasted out. I mean, this might have been a pegmatite for all I know. But, i got to go that way. That's it. How bad do you want to head up into there? Oh, 
We'll get there. Almost there. Just want to explore around these last few places before I uh, head to the good stuff. All right, it looks like we have a weird rock here. That's tourmaline. We got feldspar, quartz, and not much else. There's a little smoky quartz back in there, which has me wondering. A little more tourmaline. Yeah, and I'm not gonna bother hacking those out of there. Oh my fucking god. Uh, it's not that valuable of a mineral. Yeah. They may have been mining muscovite, mica. Don't know. That is an interesting rock. Speckle with quartz and feldspar. Wow. A little bit of iron in there. That's cool. Tourmaline crystals just sticking out. This mound right here. This feels like a mine dump to me. Lots of little broken pieces. Lots of uh, big flakes of mica. You know, for the muscovite. I'm seeing bits of rose. A little bit of tourmaline here and there. I think they blew up a pegmatite. For those don't know, that don't know, pegmatite is like a magma body that sits deep underground and stays hot for a really long time. It doesn't go anywhere. It cools very slowly. Well, that then the crystals differentiate out and you get stuff like that. Look at that. Nice flaky mica. I think I see something big over here. Let's go check it out. So remember those two pitiful little pieces I dug out yesterday? This is a you know, finely crystalline uh, tourmaline. Oops. How awesome is that? That's all black tourmaline. I doubt that's what they were mining. Uh, mica, other lithium minerals, uh, potentially uh, radioactive minerals. Uh, one of the theories on smoky quartz is it sat, lived for a long time next to radioactive materials. At least that's what I've heard. This, really, this is a mine dump, I believe. Let's see if we can find any good pieces. Really don't need any more rose quartz. Really don't need any more shitty uh, tourmaline. If we find some good crystals, I might collect them. And there's a fake. That is black mica called biotite. Not tourmaline. But I mean, it's here. Look at that one piece I just had. Look at that. Got streaks of it all through it. Nice. Look at this. Just huge masses of it. It's awesome. Uh, I'm trying not to collect, but I'm going to keep that piece. Uh, it does have quite a bit of uh, small crystal development on it. There's more on the back. It needs to get cleaned up. It's going to be pretty when it's done. I mean, it's... Jeez, it's all up through here. Yeah, this is uh, completely fucking awesome. Look at that. There's a crystal sitting right there. Big, long crystal. And not a chance in hell of getting it out of there. You can already see it's cracked and damaged. That's pretty fucking cool. I need one of those just loose. Interesting. Uh, yeah, doesn't that, like, really, really seriously look like a mine entrance to you? I have no idea how deep that is. The water is sludgy. Wow. But, I mean, it is right here. I mean, the mine dumps are right here. That's a mine shaft right there. Looks like it goes down that way. Down the slope. We have more mine dumps to go look at. This is awesome. Mica, anyone? Holy fuck. And this is something you normally see in just like little tiny, just, you know, uh, sparkly size. But Jesus Christ, that's huge. I'm going to try to save that one. Okay, now there's a new mineral heard from. I don't know exactly what this stuff is. I, I, it's on the tip of my tongue. Uh, but I only see two pieces of it. I'm going to scour this area look for some more of it. Uh, that is very fucking cool. It's a different mineral. We'll go find out what it is. I'm still not at where I wanted to take you guys. 
Okay, we're getting very near the end now. Yeah, look at that. Rusty, rusty bugget. <sighs> Bottle dump. Awesome. This all looks, this all looks, you know, 70s, 80s. Ooh. Uh, Orange, Illinois. So these diggings aren't that old, unless somebody just came down here and dumped all their shit. But oh, that's a shame. Cobalt right there. A little mid bottle. Some of this stuff could be 1940s. It's hard to say. Uh, what do we have here? Well, you know, this kind of does look 1940s. We got, oh, there's one. Let's look that up. Real gold, orange aid base. Yeah. I mean, there's no barcode on it, so fairly old. I don't know old enough to be interesting. What are you? Yeah. Let me take that for the girl. I was probably getting pretty pissed off that I've been gone this long. Hey, what do we have here? Oh. Yeah. Like another ordinary bottle. Uh, yeah, more orange aid. You know, we might have a 1940s here, but right above it, more mine dump, more tourmaline. I was in here collecting. I'm really trying not to collect too much because, oh my God, there's so much of uh, like that super ice pink quartz out here. That rose quartz. It's just gorgeous. Look at that. That is so awesome. I'm gonna clean that one up. Okay. All right. Well, I've been gone so long now. She's probably seriously pissed off, and she's just gonna have to get her herself. She's gonna have to get over herself. You know, it's kind of like uh, you know taking me to a candy store. Or strip club. It's not going to be a short day. Oh, wow. What I wouldn't give for just one big fucking awesome crystal. Look at that. Look at that green. I'm going to grab that. I don't know what the fuck that green is. It might be a different mineral altogether. I'll grab that one, that one. Oh, that's a good crystal. Hell, better than what I've seen. All right, so I wasn't going to collect anything today, honest, but, oh my fucking God. Ah, there's just so much good stuff up there. Ah, look at this piece. Yeah, that is solid fucking tourmaline. Unbelievable. Of course, I got a lot of other pieces. I have this strange green mineral, mineral I haven't identified yet. Probably never will. <laughs> Who knows? I know what this is, but I don't know. Is this serpentine? No. It looks got some more of that green mineral on it. Uh, is this a different kind of tourmaline? Don't know. God, I suck at minerals these days. I've got quite a few nice. That doesn't even look like tourmaline. That looks like quartz. But the fracture's wrong, so uh, just tourmaline. It grew next to a piece of quartz. That's why it's got this face. But just unbelievable stuff. I haven't figured out what that one is yet. Potentially garnet? Dunno. Lots to learn. And lots more adventures out there. Holy fuck. This is our first stop, and I accidentally drive into a pegmatite. What you think of that puppy?
Yes. You just want to go and lay down, you fucking lazy ass. Wow, you enjoyed uh, day two of actually figuring out what the hell I was talking about in day one. Thanks for watching, y'all. I'm going to head on down the road and find me another fucking mine to go sleep in. That's weird. I'm out of here.